What's up guys? Hope you're all doing great and having a good day. Uh, today we'll be covering uh, mirror toggles in VRChat and you can apply this toggle function to anything you want in the game. So its applications are quite varied uh, depending on how you want to use it. Uh, this is the most common function. In general though, all my guides are going to be made because a lot of them I have noticed are outdated or they go a little fast or they skip steps, assuming you've already had that step done. But if you're a very beginner, sometimes you need to start from the complete scratch. So that's what we're going to be doing in these. Hopefully you'll find it helpful. So here we have Unity being opened. Go ahead and make a new project. I already had one open just for before this. So we're just going to close that out, make a new one. All right, so as you can see, we have our extremely blank project here. So step one after you make the project is to actually make sure you have the VRC SDK3 worlds downloaded. And if you don't, it's pretty easy to get. You could get that from the VR chat home and download it right here. We already have that downloaded, so we're not going to do that. Instead, we are just going to import it like you will have to after you download it. So go to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package, find the scene, or the asset, I'm sorry, and import it. Now after it's done preparing the package, uh, an import checklist should come up. Just make sure you go ahead and import all of those. This might take a second. All right, so our package is done importing. As you can see, we have the SDK and the examples here. You're going to want to open that examples, and we're just going to use this as our example. So we're going to go to prefab, and we're going to want the mirror. Grab that mirror. All right, so we got that in Blended. We're gonna want to take this Udon example scene and just drag it up to the top. All right, so now we have an example scene. So step two is, uh, now we have this example scene. Go ahead and take under VR chat examples, prefabs, grab a mirror. Move that up a little bit. All right. So now we need something to toggle this mirror with. Let's go ahead and create a 3D object. Right click cube. There you go. Bring that over here so we can actually see it and use it. Okay, so most of our work is gonna be done with this actual cube here. What we need to do is hit add component, Udon behavior, just type in Udon. We're going to have to hit new program because we do not have a script yet. And there it is. All right. So let's hit open Udon graph. And that'll take us to our Udon graph scene up here. If you want to go back, you click scene. But this is really where we need to be. So step one is let's, uh, let's drag this mirror into the right scene here. And we're going to drag this mirror. Just drag and drop. Okay. All right, so we're going to need a few other nodes in addition to our variable here. So right click, create node, and we're going to type interact. And it's going to be event interact. Go ahead and enter on that or click it. And we have that right there. So we're just going to leave that right above the mirror. The next node we're going to need is ga a game object. So we're going to click game object. And then it is set active the bottom here. So if you just type in set, it'll be the last one. And we'll need two of those. So what we're going to do is hit control D to make another. Okay. So we have two. I'm oh, sorry. We don't actually need two of those. We need one of those. So we're going to delete the second one. Go back to the create node, type in game object, and we're going to look for get active self. So I'm just type get 
and then get active self, the second one. We're going to need that. All right, and then the final node we're going to need is a Boolean node. So we're going to type in Boolean, and it should be at the boss, it's bottom, the unary negation. All right, so this is how our layout's going to look. Yeah, this actually does not matter. You can put it wherever you'd like. But the lines connecting them do matter. So make sure you have this set up the same way. All right, so that's what we have to do for our node manager, or the Udon graph management. So we can go back to our scene and we can click on our cube and we can drag our VRC mirror here into the variable we want it to control. So now this, instead of making itself toggleable, makes the mirror toggleable. And you could add that for any object you'd like. So now we need to go to build settings add open scenes, except for we don't want this top one, we're not using it, we're using the example scene. Build. All right, once it's done building, you can close out of this. And we go to the VR chat SDK at the top. Click show control panel. Make sure you are logged in. Go to builder and it might have some errors here. As you can see, I have, this is totally, I haven't done anything yet. Go ahead and auto fix this. All right. So if you do have a VR set connected to your desktop or laptop, you will want to click this for now. If you don't, you don't need to worry about it. It won't put it in VR, no errors, or anything like that. It should be fine. At this point, you can go ahead and build and test. However, if you have been messing in Unity and it loads the wrong world, you can fix that by coming down here to the Udon example scene. Right click and hit set active scene. That should force it to build this scene instead of whatever scene it's building. I was actually running into that issue while making this video. Um, so, Let's go back here and assume that uh, you're good. We're going to hit build and test and be right back when it loads in. All right, so we are in our example world, which has lots of stuff we are going to cover, but not in this video. Here is our custom mirror we added and our cube we added. So you can see this is interactable and this should, if everything worked correctly, which I'm assuming it will, as soon as I click this, it's gone. Click it again and it's back. So the issue here now is that in most worlds and even the VR chat developers say that they want these off by default. And as you can see, ours is on by default. So let's go ahead and exit and make that change. So to simply do that, just find your object and at the very top, uncheck it. Now, if we reload, We should be able to see the difference in here in just a second. All right, so we're back in. Our mirror is off by default. And if we click the cube, it turns on and off. Simple as that. Now you can apply this to video players, chairs, you know, whatever it is you'd like to apply it to. That is uh, up to you and as far as your imagination can go. If you found this video helpful, and let me know in the comments below, or leave it a like, something like that. And then if you didn't, let me know why. I'll try to make it better, or redo, or add, or edit, whatever I need to do. Because the whole point of this is to make this as easy as possible for people to learn. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.